Hey beauties, good uh, afternoon to you. All right, I'm dedicating this to church people, church leaders, people who are solid Christians. Listen to me. You see this distraction that the enemy is coming with where he's making you fight against other Christians, other believers. While you are doing that, the enemy is at work. I, was li I went to church yesterday and there was this man. He normally caters to children, how he does his preaching right very very you know very talented elderly man and trust me he he was able to capture the the attention of children adults everyone he's really good i don't remember his name he has been around he said for he has been a christian he said for 60 years elderly man we're talking and he said the studies have shown that it's either 50 or 70 percent of young people are not going to church you know and I know that I can understand. I see the trajectory in different reasons as to why many, many have been treated badly by church people. They have seen the, the, the hypocrisy. You say one thing, you do another. So, you know, it all comes back down to not living the life. You know, that is why the scripture says, by your love, when you, how they see you love each other, that will draw them to, to God. That will draw them to Christ. And the kingdom message is not being preached. What is being preached is how you feel, your culture, the bad mind, envy, and they guise it on the so-called spiritual they guise it on the so-called Christianity when it's really bad mind, envy, and all of these little things. And what is happening? The enemy is at play. Hear how he's at play. You realize that I know I cannot, I can hardly believe it. I am I'm so discombobulated. I can't believe so, so many people under this guzum, what you call necromancy, obia, witchcraft, even occultism. I cannot believe it. The number of people, and they have on this security guard ring, may I call it? Well, guard ring. Eh? Instead of trusting in God's protection, in trusting in God, safeguarding them from harm, evil, danger, disease, and the devil's plans, they're trusting in a guard ring. They're going to obia men, obia women, witchcraft, sorcery, even occultism, which is definitely devilish. All of them devilish still, you know, but some are, have different stages. That is why they call them different names. Black magic, white magic, necromancy, witchcraft, you know, and so on and so on. Occultism is the worst one, or worse, I should say. Right? My goodness gracious me, church people, you, you're not realizing the distractions that the enemy is coming with, you know. What you're sitting down is envying your church brother, envying your church sister, being jealous of them, whether their gifts, talents, what you think that they have, or the lack thereof, fighting. What do you think is happening with this old, uh, the T.D. Jake saga and all of that, and, and different names that they call Joel Austin getting distracted by folly and nonsense and lies. Lies on these men and women of God. Lies, nothing but lies. And a lot of church people are involved in that instead of saying no. A lot, you know, because you're joining in with the, the non-Christians and the two on the same um, wavelength, not on Jesus' length. Not on Jesus' length. Sitting down, tearing down this one and that one, not knowing that many of them are lies. You forget what, you forget what Matthew, um, is it in the book, of, is it Matthew 5 or Matthew 7, where it said, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil, which means all manner of lies against you falsely for my sake. That is why I say rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. I keep saying it to people not because you're coming out with this and that means it's true. A lot of the things that you see promulgated sometimes it is, it's hyperbole they're using when you look it's just a small sect. Small sect but the majority of people not supporting it but they don't want you to see it especially in the westernized world. A lot of the things that they force on the Western people, they can't do it on the Middle East and all the other sections of the world. They can't try it. They can barely squeeze the squeeze it like it. You're getting distracted by <laughs> the enemy really a laugh after we. He's just laughing, kiki kiki kaka 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 in. He said, look at them, look at the idiots. I just get them to turn against each other. I'm going to make that one hate that one. I'm going to make that one gossip against that one. So you're just following the non-Christians. So why are you bother going out to preach then? If you're doing the exact thing that the non-Christians are doing, why are you bother going to preach? What are you preaching to them to say? What are you preaching when you're doing the very same thing? Eh? When you're creating factions and dissensions, telling lies on each other, gossiping, you know, 
reveling in unforgiveness and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that sometimes if somebody does does if somebody does me wrong without a cause meaning i know you're being evil and wicked sometimes i need a time to pull back to come again it doesn't mean that i'm necessarily keeping malice we need to not be unrealistic we're humans that's a different case altogether when somebody really truly betrays you and hurts you and pretends with you you need to regroup to to say, you know what, God, I don't I want to ensure that there's no bitterness in my heart. Hating might I need a time to kind of heal a little bit. You don't make the time drag out, drag out, drag out forever and ever. Amen. You know? And malice is not how we look at malice, where we say, Oh, she keeping malice. Sometimes people kind of you have to be careful with the silent treatment. You have to know how to you have to be very careful. Sometimes you may need to be quiet so that you don't do the wrong thing or say the wrong thing. So that's not necessarily malice, people. And malice the word malice has, comes with malicious intent hate abhorring some you know somebody evil wicked intent something sinister you have to be careful you know there is a difference but that's another topic altogether but the enemy has fought the en you know i keep saying to people the enemy has not lost his power he has not lost his anointing please listen to the words carefully yes he has not lost his wisdom all of them has have become sorry corrupt they're evil so it's like he has an evil anointing on him that is why he can still work magic as them would say and do things that look miraculous look you remember he's like a um he's a knockoff to god and he's not and please stop saying this thing about the only thing that he cannot do is blow breath into people that's a lie there are many things that he cannot do he's not omniscient he's not omnipotent he's not omnipresent he's not almighty many things that's not the only thing So stop it. Because if God does not allow, he cannot do certain things. And if God lock him on and grip him, you understand, girt him by his genitals, he can't do certain things. So be careful of these things that we are saying. Just know the devices of the enemy. And one of the, he's just working in the churches right now. He might already have the non-Christians under lock and key, so I'm not too worried about them. You understand? But you see the Christians, him just capturing and laughing. He has this, he's eating popcorn right on the platform right now, you know. He's eating popcorn and drinking his soda, laughing, kia, 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 and watching the movie. The movie of us being against each other as Christians. Fighting. And then while he's tearing down and creating a lot of mayhem. Marriages. Friendships. Business relationships. The world all over. When you look at the comments under anything, no matter what it is, the principles that people used to have, they no longer have it. They're calling evil good and evil and good evil. Um, evil good and good evil. People are lauding and, and happy when they see people getting divorced, when they see relationships being destroyed. They, they're gleeful. Although some marriages should not have happened because the enemy can't put you, you know, that is why they have who, who God joined together, let no man put asunder because the enemy can't join people together. That's another topic. That's another topic. But outside of that, Christians, you better make your calling and election sure. The man said 50, is either 50 or 70% of young people are not, children to the young adolescents are not going to church. So who, if, if they're not being exposed to God, they're going to be exposed to the devil, one out of the two, in different ways. And that is why we're, we're in a sort of a godless generation right now. And that is why you will see the comments that people have no heart for nothing. They laugh at something that they should be, be mourning. Or what they should be mourning, they're laughing. At, not with. I've never seen a set of people can fight against one another like church people. I never see a set of people can fight against, against each other like church people. And the enemy just laughing because he said, got you where you are. All right? No, less people will go to church. Less people will do this and less people will do that for God. He has found that you think he's not watching you round the clock. He's he not, he not um, um, omniscient, you know. But he has his cohorts around the place. So he send them out. If he stick on by you worse than glue and thumbtack. Because we have been very foolish. Why we have not been transformed by the renewing of our minds. Our souls have not been transformed. You don't just turn a Christian and you transform. That's why Jesus had to disciple the men of God. For three years because I know that stubbornness in a mankind. Many of you are not transformed. Oh what a web we weave. When we try to deceive. 
continue continue not you gonna say not yet hey <laughs> guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel share this message